Hi everybody, this is Jacob with More Geek Than Chic once again. And I wanted to demonstrate uh, what the swipe keyboard looks like on the Atom. I posted some pictures to the Conclave at Notion Inc. Um, I decided I would do a little bit of a video just to kind of show folks what they should expect when they, in when they install the beta. This is not an open beta, this is a closed beta. You do need to go over to the swipe website and, uh, and register in order to do this. Um, and you'll get a link in your email box uh, saying that you can you, that you've been accepted to join and that you will be given a link to the APK for the installer. It's a two-part install. Um, the first part um, here's the thing though if you try and visit it using a tablet like an like the Atom um, it's gonna give you a message saying oh whoops guess what this is only for phones sorry so um, shh, don't tell anybody but what I did was I used my phone to grab the installer pulled that off with app kicked by backing it up and then side loaded it onto the Atom uh, with a USB key and uh, installed it from there. So when you first install it, you will get this happy little swipe installer application. And um, I've, got already, I've already gone ahead and installed it, so it's going to go through all this process. But um, I'm going to go ahead and finish because I don't need it. Okay, so that was, you'll get that and it will, once you put in your account credentials that you created to download the APK to start with, um, it will download a uh, the version of the swipe keyboard for you. And so just to give you an idea of kind of what this looks like and how it works. So that's the way it looks. It's a very clean and a very well uh, organized keyboard. Um, the Notion Ink keyboard, the only real problem I have with it, I like the two, being able to do the two key um, typing, you know, being able to do shift like a regular shift key. What I don't like about it is there's no predictive uh, spell checking. And one of the pains for me in using a tablet in general is that I don't always know, you know, that I've been typing it well. And on the phone it's great to have something that will correct spelling. I mean, I know what the words are, but it's it's nice to have that sort of auto-correcting spell check as I go um, because it's just kind of the nature of the beast. So I can go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and knock that out. I mean I can type just by tapping. You see I've got the usual um, I kinda like the way they do this um, the, the predictive word window kind of a modal it's not a modal window but it's it's a, win a convenient window. The, the light blue is what would um, up here if I did a space or punctuation so I so I can run that search um, and then I can hold the delete key and it, it deletes word back instead of just um, doing it letter by letter which is also convenient for these mobile devices um, now the whole magic of the swipe keyboard is that you are able to swipe instead of type um, and I'll have, I have this set to make us to have audio feedback just because I like to know when I'm typing but in this case it will only do it when I first start the swipe so if I do that same query you'll notice that I just looped you loop a key to do a double letter um, which is some people don't realize that when they first um, start but and I still you know you get you definitely get um, you know that's a bad one, see? Sometimes you have to be somewhat precise, but it's usually not too bad. That is funny. D-O-O-D-L-E. There we go. Um, I tried doddle instead. I spelled it wrong. It's really pretty good with the accuracy. Um, I was, I've was i been surprised once I figured out that, oh, you have to do, um, it helps to do peaks and valleys. So for words like put, if I just do P-U-T, it's going to be like, well, there's a couple options there. Um, but if I go P U T, it generally is able to to, pick, to sort out what I want right away. Um, now this is the kind of the landscape version. Um, also notice that it leaves, you, it gives, it allows you to see the context of what you're entering in half of the time with a regular uh, with a regular landscape keyboard. All you get is that big fat. Um, you know, full full screen text area that doesn't let you even see what it is you're doing. Um, so I appreciate that they kind of took that cue from the gingerbread keyboard and um, allowed that to uh, to happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch very quickly to the uh, portrait mode 
just so you can kind of see the difference. Um, in portrait mode, it's still just as usable. I really like it both ways, uh, both as portrait and as uh, landscape. But I can, it has the same, uh, I mean, the, the, the speed and efficiency that a person swipes at is much better, um, in my opinion, than what you would normally have to um, put up with. For, for, for mobile typing, swiping is definitely the way to go. Um, and uh, even, you get used to it as opposed to, if it's a much more intuitive, when you don't have real buttons, draw, kind of doodling on the screen has a very similar um, a very similar feel to other systems like Palm's early system where you would you know learn to just write gestures on the screen. Gesturing is a much cleaner UI for tablets because you don't have real buttons and you have to use your imagination to use buttons. Whereas a doodle is a doodle. You doodle all the time. Doodling with your fingers, I think that's half of what uh, these tablets are made for. Um, you spend so much time, so much screen time with your fingers it would only make sense to be able to use gesturing to uh, its fullest potential. And uh, it's a great input, very efficient input device, if you can get installed. Now, for folks who have installed it and so they can't, they can only type and they can't swipe, um, I don't know if it's because you're not rooted. Um, I've only, I don't know if it's because you're not on a, you're, if you're on the stock ROM, I don't know if it will install. Um, and if it does install, I don't know if it will support the multi-touch or the swiping motions. I, I really have no idea. Um, if I go to the setting, <clears throat> excuse me, if I go to the settings screen, um, no, oh, that's just the, I, I would recommend that you you know, have a certain amount of this stuff going. Um, you do want to set change the settings to something that you would actually like. The general swipe, uh, you can get a, a swipe with multi-language or get a swipe that is English-Spanish only at this point. Um, and I didn't get the universal because it's quite a bit larger and I don't really need it. Um, but if you want something that's other than English or Spanish, you might want to check it out and see if it works for you. Um, it is really quick with learning uh, new user custom user dictionary words. I've noticed that once you once you um, plunk your own word in there through direct typing, it does a pretty quick job of bringing those back up. Downside, though, that I have noticed with it is that it does not draw a distinction between learning um, words that are typed into a uh, into a password field versus anything else. And I don't know if other keyboards have this problem too, but with swipe, if you type, if you, um, if you hand pack your keyboard to type your password in, it, it will add that to your dictionary. And it may not seem like a big deal because there's all kinds of crazy words in that dictionary, but I would not, for me, it, it's, I don't like the idea of having anything that I enter into a password field on a website, I don't like the idea of the keyboard remembering that as being a, a, a real word because half the time they're not. Um, and I'd rather, you know, if it's not a real word, I'd, I'd like to be the only one who knows that and not the keyboard. But um, that's the only real issue that I've run into. Otherwise, it's definitely my keyboard of choice. And uh, hopefully for folks who are, I hope number one, that they release it um, wide to the public and for tablets, um, I think it's a great product. I would definitely pay for it as soon as it goes live and you're able to pay for it. Um, I think it's got a lot of, uh, you know, I think a lot of, I think for folks who really plan on using this and do not necessarily want to always have to use an external keyboard, um, I think it's a great second option. And if you, if you don't have an external keyboard, it's a great first option. Um, so uh, be sure to check it out.